The next alignment property is the aligned items property. Aligned items defines the default behavior for how flex items are laid out along the cross axis of the container, which means to say it works like justify content, but in the perpendicular direction. Again, let's understand with the UI how the different values work. Now to see the changes, we need a height on the container. So let's set height to 800 pixels. Now by default, the value of align items is stretch. That means the items stretch the entire length of the cross axis. So if I go back to the browser and refresh, you can see that the items stretch all the way from the top to the bottom, from cross start to cross end. And if I set the same property value, so align items set to stretch, refresh the browser, you can see that there is no change. So stretch is the default value. The second value we can specify is flex start. So flex start refresh and you can see that all the items are pushed to the cross start which is the starting point of the cross axis. Remember the cross axis flows from the top to the bottom. Now you can see that even though the container is 800 pixels in height, the items do not stretch and are aligned with the cross start of the line. And similar to flex start, we also have flex end. And this value, as you might have already guessed, pushes the items to the end of the cross axis. So all the way to the bottom. The fourth possible value is center, which centers the content along the cross axis. So align items, set to center, refresh. And you can see that the content is now centered along the cross axis. And the last value I want to discuss is baseline. Now, when there is a word, Sphinx, for example, the baseline is the line upon which most letters sit. So you can see that the baseline is highlighted in red in the first image. And coming to Flexbox, the baseline value for flex items will align flex items along their contents baseline. You can see that in the below image, we have five items, A, B, C, D, E, each with different heights and content size. You can see how all the content in the flex items sit on the baseline. So if you ever want the text inside the items to line up, go with baseline. Let's quickly take a look at an example. I'm gonna go back to the CSS file and I'm going to slightly modify the CSS for the first three items. For item one, a padding bottom of three rem. For item two, a padding bottom of five rem. And for item three, a font size of three rem. Now I have set the align items property to baseline value. And if I refresh the browser, you can see that the text inside each item is aligned. The item itself is positioned based on where the text will sit. So that's how baseline works. Now we can also flip the axis by setting flex direction to column and test how the alignment works. I'm going to leave that as an exercise for you all to try out. So the align items property is used to align items along the cross axis of the container. The possible values are flex start, flex end, center, baseline, and stretch, which is the default.